Hi, good evening, everybody. Well, you people, <laughs> very few people today. Good evening, guys. How are you? Happy, sad. Tell me. Do you hear me? Lip. Yes. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Pensé que no me escuchaban. People, today is Friday. No, 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 right? Today is not Friday. It's not uh, always Friday. Thursday. Yes, I know, I know. That's not good, right? <laughs> okay. Yes, it's not good. Tomorrow is good. Today is not good. <laughs> no, no, it's, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, people, hi. How was your day? How do you feel? You feel good, tired? Sleepy, happy, worried. I feel tired. Really? It's tired. too long for me because um, I have I have too long the room yeah, meetings and oh. so you had you had too long meetings. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> how 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 much time? How long? Six hours. The last one. And one meeting. Six hours, the last one, and uh, and in the morning, um, three hours, nine okay. hours. Nine hours. Wow. No. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. Yes, that's really bad. What about the rest? How are you guys? Cancel? Concepcion, Stephanie? Mirna, how are you? Carla? Tired. Tired. How no. are you, teacher? Tired. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Happy. Super happy. No, okay. Very good. Uh, people, let me take attendance. Hold on. I don't need this. I don't need this either. And I, I'm gonna take attendance. Okay, let's start. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. No, Atilio is not here, right? Celia Cristina Choto Segovia. Present. Hello. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. No, she's not here. Concepción Marina Alvarado. Present teacher. Uh, Elisa de Chicas Delgado. No, nope, not yet. Irma Stephanie Carranza. Present. Hello. Josué Neftali García. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Juan Antonio Elías. Present teacher. Hello. Uh, Carla Sofía Arqueta Chévez. Present. Hi, good evening. Hi. Luis, Luis Miguel Corbera. No, Luis is not here yet. Marcela Maria Sanchez. No, not here yet. Maria Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Present teacher. Lou. Tenemos a Jancy Sandoval, Monía. Jancy. No. Milda Lisset Hernández Laines. Present. Present, present, present. Hello, yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. No problem. Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. Present. Hello. Nelson Orlando Tejada Castaneda. Present, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Norma Patricia Vázquez. No, she's not here yet. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. No, not here yet. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. No, Wendy's not here. Sandy Floricel de Guillén Cruz. No, sir. Leo. Carlos Alberto Santana. 
Snow, uh, Jan Solivares Raimundo, All right, very good. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> oh my lord! I just, I just had like five minutes or ten minutes ago. I had an allergy reaction, so I have a a problem. Me too. Right allergy to glasses. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Yes. I don't know what happened. That's weird. All right, very good. People, let me tell you that today we finished the third week, okay? We finished the third week today. So this means that you need to have the platform completed, all right, by today. By today or tomorrow morning, the latest. But you need to do it today, all right? I'm talking about the week number three. We finished today. So that means we have uh, we have practice and review today. Look at this. Simple past, review and practice. So remember that since uh, the first day of the third week, like the first day we were practicing affirmative. I mean, simple past, affirmative. The second day we continue with simple past, negative, then we continue with simple past, just no questions and short answers. And yesterday we were uh, practicing sim uh, simple past information questions, okay? Simple past information questions. Hello, Miguel, thank you for being here, welcome. Okay, people, let's, let's do this. Uh, let's practice simple past, answer the questions the teacher will ask you. I'm going to be asking you two different types of questions. Yes, no questions and, and information questions, okay? And let's start with this one. Uh, let me see, all right. Hello, Hi, Wendy. Teacher. Hi, Wendy. Hello. Good evening, how are you? Welcome. Good evening, teacher. All right, Nelson, the first one is for you, Nelson. Hello? That's, that's the question. Uh, Did you like the movie trailer? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes. Did you like the movie trailer? Yes, I did. Okay. Let me continue with somebody else. Yancy. Hello, Yancy. Sandoval. Okay. Did you enjoy the trip to Costa Rica? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Nelly, when did you attend the training? Um, hello, teacher. Month. Hi. Nelly, hello. The last month, I attended training the last month. Okay, attended, right? Attended. attended. I attended the training last month. All right, very good. Thank you, thank you. Let me see. Luis, are you available? Yes. Okay, there you okay. go. How many emails did you send to your employees? Um... I send 100 emails for my employees. To my employees. To my employees. Yes, okay, send. Cambiamos la D por el pasado, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Next, uh, okay, Stephanie Carranza. Why, oh no. Why, why did you call your ex? Qué difícil esa pregunta. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Um, no sé ni qué responder, teacher. Why not? It's easy. 
¿Por qué le llama a ese cipote? Es uh, a wrong number. No. No, pues no sé, no hay ni que responder. Lo que pasa es que le, está, le están escuchando, ¿verdad? No, aquí, sí. ¿Qué es con Stephanie? Me Did you understand last week's topics? Um. <coughs> Did you understand um. last week's topics? Um. No por completo como de for. ¿Cómo se dice no, completo? You have to give me the, 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 the short answer. Yes, I did or no, I did not. Yes, I did, dear, I'm um, not. No, only just one, just one, just one, only one, solo uno. Ah, okay. No, I did. Uh -huh. No, I did not. No, I did not. Okay, okay, there you go. Uh, this one, this one, let's see, Marian. Who did you write the report for? Who did you write the report for? Um, Hello. Um, I I did it for my boss. Okay, I did it for my boss. Okay, but I wrote it. I wrote. Wrote. Okay, remember, wrote in the past form. Okay. Wrote. Okay, very wrote, good. Eh, escribi, es, escribir en, pasa, en pasado sería wrote. Then. Yes, exactly. I wrote. Uh, I wrote uh, report. for my boss. Okay, there you go. I wrote the report for my boss. Okay, thank you, thank you. I think there's one more. Okay, this one, this one. It says, what kind of car did you buy? Let me see, Concepcion, can you please answer this one? What kind of car could be put in front of the phone? I kind of. Sorry? I kind of car the sedan? No. No. Yes, Serang is correct, but I need you to tell me the verb in the past form. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what kind. kind. Oh, no. It's the past. No, kind is not the verb. It's the, uh -huh. Ah, the, I both. Serang. Okay. Uh -huh, there you go. I bought, I bought a sedan. Yes. That's how it is. Okay, thank you very much for mm -hmm. your answer. People bought. Okay, I stay in the chat. I bought. There you go. Okay, this one, let me see. Hold on. Okay, Carla, hello. Hello. Where did the meeting take place? Sorry. ¿Dónde tomó lugar la reunión? Uh -huh. uh, the meeting took place in hotel. <laughs> okay. The meeting took place in the hotel. Okay. Yes. Take place significa llevarse a cabo o ejecutarse. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. O lo que Carla dijo. Okay. Que es lo mismo. Yes. All right, very good. I think there's one more. It says, how many products did he sell last month? How many products did he sell last month? Uh, Mirna, can you please help us? No, Mirna is not there. Mm. Claudia, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. How many products did he sell last month? 
How many folks? Mm -hmm. Uh, zero. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> No, but no, no, no. It, that, the, the number is not is not relevant. What I need is the verb in the past form. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, he sold. Uh -huh. He sold two products. Okay. He two sold products. two products. People sold is the past form. Okay. Yes. He sold two. There you go. Next, okay, we do not have any more. Let's, let me close this and let me stop sharing. All right, now we're going to continue, guys. I'm sorry that I sound, so I'm not, I'm not really good in this moment. Okay, let's go and let's go to the book on page number 37, on page 37, we're going to start the review, okay? Yes. We're going to do this. It says vocabulary practice, write the missing letters to complete the words. Please, people, uh, well, I'm guessing you remember this vocabulary, please. Uh, complete the missing letters, and I will give you just three or, no, two or three minutes. Teacher, when I complete the missing word, uh -huh. all the words make a sentence. No, no. They don't make a sentence. They make a word. Oh, okay. Or, or a group of words. A word oh. or a group of words. Yes. It doesn't make a sentence. Okay, do not worry about that. Okay, thanks. It's really simple, right? Okay, let's start. Let's start mentioning them. What is the first one, people? Hey, I'm keep to... calm, teacher. Huh? What keep happened? Calm. Uh, only two. I, have, I I finish it. Okay. Okay. I'm right. Sorry. My apologies. <laughs> yes. No, I'm sorry. Okay. I will give you a, a few more seconds. <clears throat> this other problem is. <coughs> Salen varios en español, empanada. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Al, are you ready? Almost. Number one, pick up the word. No. Pick up is good, but the wear, no. The wear. You pick up the phone. Number two, hi. Hi. <laughs> because you're doing this one. <laughs> say. Number two, right? Say no. Probably pay, yes. Yes, I think it's pay. Or buy. 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 Sell. buy. You say two. pay or buy. Mm -hmm. Pay or buy. Pay. Number three. three sell. Okay, number three. Sell. 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 Yes. Sell, call. I was also talk, uh, thinking about bill and, and call. Right. <laughs> Empanada era correcto la cinco. No. <laughs> Empanadas con ese. Yes. No. Falta una letra. Sorry. El hambre. Oh, man, we're a special case, huh? Explain. Ah, uh -huh, exactly, yes. Thank you, Marcela. It's people explain. It's not empanada. It's explain, explain. And what about number four? Get price. I'm sorry? Get prices. Get prices? Yes. Get prices. Number six or seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Remember the unit, it's about see customer service. Customer service, do you see? It's about customer service. Number seven, yes, I think it's uh, help. Yes, help. Very good, very good. Help, number seven. I think that is bell. <laughs> Oh, no. Bell, no. It's not, it's not related to, to, to customer service. 
Guys, tell me, tell me, continue. We got number six. Complain. Okay, complain, yes, complain is number six. Wait, but it's complain or complaint? Complain. Number seven, number six, eight, sorry, assist. Yes, it's correct, assist. Assist. Number nine, 10, 11, 12 people. Number 10, understand. Uh huh. Number 10, understand. Yes. Understand. Yes. What about number nine, 11, and 12? Nine receive. Okay, yes, nine is received. Yes, exactly. Eleven requests information. Eleven. Eleven. Doce. <laughs> no. It's it's you close. Anda cerca. Request information on la doce. There you go. 11 is provide one's information. And the, the number 12, you said, Christina, I'm sorry. Request information. Yes, this one is easier. And number 12, request information. People, I have a secret. What do you say in the, in the, in the number 11, excuse me? <laughs> provide. Bye. Everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, Easy people. Thanks. So it era era buy, okay? Era pay, not era buy. I see a call. We got everything correct. People, you are amazing. Incredible. Yes, of course. Okay, number, number two, it says vocabulary practice. Write adjectives to show customer's satisfaction and dissatisfaction about a product. People, we got how many spaces? But let's just write five, five each. Uh, remember that an adjective is a description. Description, okay? Yes. For example, you can say happy, angry, Okay, yes. Pleased. Five adjectives for the satisfaction part and five adjectives for the dissatisfaction part. Please. When I get some water right now. <clears throat>
excited. Yes. Works, works, excited, excited. Guys, you finish? Let's see. Let's see. Guys, did you finish? It's five, five, I think. Nine. No teacher. Okay, no problem. Okay, people. We're gonna we're gonna complete this this list, and uh, some of you are going to mention what you have. Okay, let me see. Uh, is there a, vol a volunteer that would like to share? A volunteer. No volunteers. Um, <laughs> okay, thank you, Nelly. It's surprise, um, satisfaction, okay. and dissatisfaction, sad. 
Hello. And satisfaction, happy, and dissatisfaction, angry. Um, satisfaction, surprise, dissatisfaction, sad, satisfaction, great, dissatisfaction, uh, bad mood. Okay. All right. It's finished. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. Thank you very much for sharing. And thank you for volunteering. Uh, let me see another person, uh, Tony. What do you have? I only have five. Uh, apologize and experience. Yeah, um, well, four. In satisfaction words, uh, I think that is good experience and perfect products. And dissatisfaction, is in, um, I think that is inconvenience and apologize. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Thank you very much for for your participation, Tony. Let's see, uh, Wendy, what do you have? Wendy, hello. Hi. Hi, sir. Uh -huh. What do you have? What do you have? Our our report. Sorry. Our report. Satisfaction. Uh huh. Mention the adjectives. Repeat. Mention the adjectives. Um. Satisfaction report. Mm -hmm. uh, satisfaction work. Um, fashion angry. Mm -hmm. Um, sleep, satisfaction, sleep. sleep. Okay, no, uh, sleep is not an adjective. Sleep is the adjective. Continue, sleepy. Continue. Sorry, sorry. Um, como se dice caminar, teacher? Satisfaction. No, that one, no. Son adjetivos. Ah. It's, it's different. It's different. It's, don't worry, don't worry, Wendy. It's okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For Me your... confundí, Me confundí, It's Sorry. okay. No problem. It's okay. It's fine. Carla, what do you have? Okay. Uh, satisfaction, great. Uh, mm -hmm. Lovely. You. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, lovely, okay. Me encanta algo así. Lovely. New, quick, is safe. Dissatisfaction, dirty, false, old, strange, and wrong. All right, all right. Perfect. Thank you very much, Carla, for your participation. Maria, what, Maria, what do you have? In satisfaction. Yes. Hello. Wait, teacher, que lo estaba haciendo aquí, me cerró. Eh, Amazing. Amazing, ajá. Uh -huh. um, <coughs> ¿Cómo se llama? Quick. I'm sorry, repeat. Oh, quick. Okay, quick. Uh-huh. Use, uh, useful. Useful, yes, yes. Useful is fine. Mm. 
the beautiful. I'm sorry. The beautiful or okay, beautiful. colorful. Yes, beautiful is perfect. A careful. Careful, okay. A determined, right? A como decidido. Determined. 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 A different. Different. All right. All right. That works. That works. Okay. I, my apologies. I have. I'm having some problems right now. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm back. All right. All right. Thank you, Mario, for sharing. Let's continue here. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Carlos Alberto. Carlos, apparently he's not available. Okay, Stephanie Carranza, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, Stephanie. Mm, satisfaction, delighted, grateful, mm -hmm. fascinated, pleased. Pleased. Uh, pleased. Uh -huh. Okay. Disaffection, satisfaction, pardon, sad, uh -huh. warranty. Uh, use of files and use a point. Okay. Only those? Okay. Hello. Okay. That's okay. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Claudia, what do you have? Share, please. Uh, excited, please. Um, uh... And uh, dissatisfaction. Um, angry, I don't know if, uh, yes, angry. Angry, yes. Angry. angry. Yes. Um, yes confused. Angry, angry or Marcela, no, no difference. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and confused, only that. Okay, and we confused. All right, people, there are many, many adjectives that can describe uh, when you feel satisfied or when you feel dissatisfied. Okay, very good. Thank you for your participation. We're going to continue with more activities later on. Can you mention? Uh, I'm sorry. This part. Can you mention some examples on this satisfaction? Satisfaction. Here. Unsatisfaction. Dissatisfaction. Examples. For example, we can say awful. Okay. Awful means horrible or terrible. You mentioned this one is very, very normal. It's a point, I'm not sure if it's double P. Disappointed. Yes, double P, all right. Disappointed as well. Yes, we can say awful, disappointed, disappointed. We can also say, as you said, angry. Yes. We can also say, Confused. Sorry? Confused. I'm pleased. Confused. 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 I'm pleased. Yeah, we can say that too. We can say, uh, let me see. There was another word, but I can't remember. The word is similar to disappointed. I can't remember the word right now. It's uh, I can't remember. Okay, we can say unfulfilled. Fulfill is with double double L, like that. Yes, unfulfilled means like like that the person is not uh complete. Okay. Uh, the normal word the the, the opposite is unsatisfied. Unsatisfied. Worried. Okay, worried. 
Okay. Yeah, we can come up with a lot of a lot of negative negative uh, adjectives when you are disappointed. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me see what we're gonna do right now. Let me stop sharing here. And we're gonna I'm gonna show you or explain to you how to use a simple past again. Because this week we've been talking about simple past. Okay, we're gonna practice simple past, but we're going to do it a little, a little different over here. Let me start. Okay, simple past. This is for the affirmatives, negatives, and let's do the questions over here. Okay, simple past, we use simple past to express actions that are completely completely finished, okay? That's the definition, we use simple past to express actions Actions that are completely finished, okay? Also, also we use simple past. Well, we have two types of verbs, okay? We have two types of verbs, okay? Those are Regular and irregular verbs. Regular and irregular, sorry, regular and irregular verbs. All right. And also we use the auxiliary that we use is did. Usamos did como auxiliar. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's start in the affirmative form. Let me change the color because I don't like this one. Okay, the affirmative form. is like this. La S es por sujeto. Subject. Okay, plus verb, más verbo, más complement, más complemento. Of course, verb in the past, past form, esa P es para la pa pasado, okay? Yes? That is the structure, sujeto, verbo, complemento, okay? That is the structure. We have a little difference here between these two. Remember that we have two different types of verbs, right? Regular, los regulares, and irregular, y los irregulares, okay? Yes? That's what we have. Okay, let's have three verbs. Call in the past form, is people? What's the past call. form? Call. Okay, cold. Suena con D al final. Okay, cold. Ese es el pasado, okay? All right. Vamos acá, pongamos revisar. Check in the past form. Check. 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 Uno más, learn. En el pasado es? Learn. 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 Okay. Learn. Those are the regular verbs. Esos son los verbos regulares. Okay, los que van con ed. Irregular, pongamos take, give, and y pongamos go. What is take in the past form? Took. Took, right? Took, exactly, exactly. What is give in the past form? Okay. Okay, the pronunciation is gave. Gave. 
gave. gave exactly gave what's the possible oh. form of the verb go when when uh, right when. exactly all right yes now we are going to write some examples down here okay examples how do you say or how would you say como dirían aprendí a tocar la guitarra el año pasado I learned to play guitar last year I learned to play the guitar last year exactly Okay, see, sí, simple past. Ahí está, learned. Learned es el pasado. Okay, yes. Another example. How would you say, como dirían, revisé mi correo tres veces? I checked. I checked. I checked. The email. My email. Okay, I checked. Recuerden, ese pasado. Estos son algunos resultados. Ok, people, recordemos, esa R, esa R que vemos en los verbos, tienen que decirla. Okay. Tienen que decir esa R. A veces suena como T y a veces suena como una D. Depende del verbo. Ok. Por ejemplo, tenemos acá. El verbo cold en pasado suena con D. Cold. Okay. Cold. No es colder. Ok, cold no es, es cold, suena como frío, cold, ok. Ahora, en el caso del verbo check, que termina con K, en ese caso no se, no se, dice, con, no se dice con T, perdón, no se, dice, no se dice con D, se dice con T, esa check, check, ok, no es check it, no es check it, ok, no digan check it, es check, check, yes, check. Esa R se convierte en T. Ok. Yes. So you have to be careful. I checked people. The email. Three times. Ok. I checked the email three times. Pongamos. Another one. Carla llamó a su prima. People. Carla. 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 Cold, right? Cold. Cold. Her. Her cousin. cousin. Okay, her cousin. Exactly. Very good. Y así es el pasado. Observen. El pasado, con verbos regulares, solo ponemos la ed en el verbo. Okay. Así de sencillo es. Ahora, con los irregulares, tendríamos que cambiar la forma. Hay que memorizarlos, ok. Antes de todo. Now, I'm going to give you some examples with, with the regular verbs. That's what we have right now. I'm going to give you some examples in the irregular list of verbs. Now, let's say, uh, digamos, llevé el reporte a la oficina. People in English? Llevé el reporte a la oficina. Hello. I got, I took the report to the office. I took. Recuerden que took significa agarrar, ¿ok? Y también significa llevar. Tomar, agarrar, sujetar. Sujetar de agarrar, ¿ok? También significa llevar. So, I took... I took the report to the office. Okay, that's what it is. Now, one more example. Let's say uh, Celia, Celia fue a Dubai. Celia went to Dubai. Wow. I see the Mundial. All right, yes. <laughs> For South, the work okay. on. People, very good, very good. Now, we're going to continue. 
Y ese es de affirmative form. Así es afirmativo, ¿ok? Así como está acá, es afirmativo. Es muy sencillo. Ver el sujeto, la persona, luego el verbo pasado, luego complemento, ¿ok? Let's continue with the next part. I mean the negative form. Okay, negative people, it's the same sujeto, okay? The same. The difference is this. Didn't. Last verb. I'm gonna put an O here in the middle. Plus C. Okay. That's, that is, wow. Oh no, I don't like this. Okay, there you go, sorry. I like perfection. Okay, look, we got subject, okay, plus didn't, plus verb. Esa O significa original, okay, en su forma original. All right, and complex the form. Ajá, the, same, the, the, the base form. Exactamente, okay, lo mismo de la, la forma base, okay, base form, the same. La diferencia de, del negativo, okay, del negativo y de las preguntas, Perdón, del, del positivo, que es esto que está acá. Yo le he puesto acá en rojito la diferencia, ¿ok? Didn't. Para hacerlo negativo, ponemos el didn't después del sujeto, después de la persona. Y el verbo que está, que sigue después, tiene que regresar a su forma original o a su forma base. ¿Ok? Yes. Now, for example, los ejemplos que están ahí en el... In affirmative form, <clears throat> we have, I learned to play the guitar last year. People, how do you say or how would you say that example in the negative form? I didn't learn to play the guitar last year. Exactly. Let me change the color. Okay. I did not. Okay. Or como dijo Celia. Okay, ambas son correctas, no hay ningún problema si usan una o la otra. Una, una, okay. It says, I did not learn. ¿Con ed el verbo? No, original. No, no. no. Ok. Learn. Cuando usamos Because... el pasado simple, el pasado simple cuando usamos el did, ya sea para negativos o preguntas, no se usa el verbo en pasado, se usa el verbo en su forma base, ¿ok? Entonces, el pasado del verbo solamente es en afirmativo, ¿ok? ¿Yes? All right. So, entonces, aquí está mal. Sería learn, ¿ok? Sin la ed. I did not or I didn't learn to play the guitar last year. Last year. What about the next example? It says, I checked the email three times. I didn't, I didn't check. Okay, I, I didn't. didn't. I didn't check. Did the not. emails three times. Okay, look. Check. Sin contracción. Acá lo puse contractado. Todo puesto. I didn't, I didn't check or check it. Check. check. No, original. Okay. Original. Check. No. I remember. Check. Recuerden, the okay. email is one. Okay. I didn't check the email. Three times. Three times. Okay, next. The next one is Carla called her cousin. Pero no, bajemos a la siguiente. I took the report to the office in a negative form. I didn't, I, take, didn't I didn't take the report to the office. I didn't take the report, the report to the office. Okay. I didn't take the report to the office. What about the last one? Celia went to Dubai. Celia, Celia didn't, go. didn't go to Dubai. Did not go to Dubai, and that's true, right? Dubai. No. Dubai. <laughs> and this one is real, okay? Celia didn't go to Dubai. I'm sorry, Celia. In the future, Celia, okay? Espero que vaya algún día. Last future. 
In the, in the future, yes, of course, in the future. In the, in the year. Okay. Yes. All right, very good. People, do you have any questions so far? Preguntas otro momento. No, no questions. Deme un segundo. Se me acabó el agua. And I need water for this allergy problem. Okay, the negative form, it has two parts, okay? Hay dos partes en, en, en afirmativo, okay, interrogative form, or in the questions. There are two types of questions, remember? Hay dos tipos de pregunta. Tenemos, we have the yes, no questions, okay? Plus your answers, más preguntas, más respuestas cortas. Okay, just no questions, plus, plus just, just no answers, all right? And also we have the information, information questions, meaning, 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 WH or how, okay? That's what it means. Very good. Okay. Tomemos uno del afirmativo. Elijamos Carla llamó a su primo, prima, perdón. Pongamos acá, let's write. Carla called her cousin. Ok. Eso que está ahí es, what is it people? ¿Qué es? Affirmative. Affirmative, right, exactly. Affirmative. Vamos a poner en azul. ¿Se mira? ¿Qué es? Looks weird. Okay, observe it. Carla called her cousin. Okay, Carla llamó a su prima. Okay, para hacer esto pregunta para para hacer una pregunta en el pasado es muy sencillo. Okay, ya les comentaba. Usamos una afirmativa, borramos el puntito, ponemos el signo en vez del punto. Vamos al principio. Antes de Carla ponemos el did. Okay. Y borramos el pasado en el verbo. Okay. Y así queda la pregunta. Did Carla call her cousin? Did Carla call her cousin? Yes. La respuesta sería. Yes, she did. She did. Or no, she did not. She did. Sí, sí, or she didn't. Okay. That's what it is. That's you are. Okay. Yes, people. Responda acá la, la, la estructura. Up here, up here. Just did plus subject plus verb in the base form. In the base form, of course. Yes, exactly. Thank you, thank you. Okay, plus plus the question. Okay. Así es como va. Esa es la estructura. Ok. Deal plus subject plus verb plus complement and the question mark. Ok. Let's continue with the information questions. Ok. Information questions. Acá abajo. Ok. Es lo mismo que está arriba. Ok. Es lo mismo que está arriba. Did Carla call her cousin. Ok. La diferencia es que vamos a agregarle una pregunta al principio antes de did. Borramos esa, esa de mayúscula. Ok. Ponemos solamente did. Luego ponemos when did Carla call her cousin. ¿Cuándo llamó Carla a su prima? Or why did Carla call her cousin? Uh -huh. Or why did Carla what time? Ok.
Ok, there you go. Hace la poquito. Y la respuesta. Ok. People, do you have any questions? Preguntas. <coughs> Are we good? Todo bien? Okay. Good. Very good. All right. Let me stop sharing. Now I'm going to share what we have in the book. In the book, we have this. Okay. I hope you can see it. Lo pueden ver? Sí? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. It says here, number three, simple past. Transform the negative sentences into positive ones. Okay, lo que está acá abajo están negativos. Todas son negativas, las que están acá abajo. Okay, pongámoslas en affirmative. Okay. For example, la primera, un ejemplo sería, let me give you an example. It says, she didn't buy that computer. Sería, she bought that computer. Okay? Lo harían en afirmativo. People, continue. I will give you 30 seconds. <laughs> Relax, teacher, relax. I'm relaxed. <laughs> Menos mal. <laughs> teacher, yes. one is regular. O irregular verb. I'm sorry. Once. Es regular o irregular. Ok. Seven. Lo que subraye voy a hacer regulares. Regulares. Ok. Ok. Wait. Hay uno más. Yes, right. Hay uno ocho, pero tiene que bajar la pantalla. I'm yes. sorry, yes. Oh, se me destruyó todo. <laughs> okay. All oh. regular. 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 Okay. Yes. The rest are irregular. Yes.
Lars, did you finish? Celia, thank you. Guys, did you finish now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Let's let's do this. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We got number one. Oh well, I already told you, right? It's she bought. <clears throat> What about the second one, uh, Concepcion? Share the second one, please. We brought that package. Okay, we brought. We brought that package. That okay. Package. Yes, we brought that package. Uh, Jas Olivares, are you there? No, okay. Marian, can you please read number three, please? Yes, the cli the client. Yes, client. The client called it yesterday. Okay, look, the client called yesterday. Okay, that's how it is. Thank you very much. Mirna, do you have number four? Mirna, hello. Hola, eh, I am from James. Read the email, emails. Read the email, okay. Read the email, okay, very good. Josue Garcia, are you there? Yes, Ali, hello. Yes. Number five, please, thank you. Our boss come back last week. Come, come. Yeah. Our boss came, came. Came, came. Sorry, came. Came back last last week. Week. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation. Let's continue here. Senia, read number six, please. Senia, number six. They they canceled the meeting. They canceled, right? They they canceled the meeting. Okay, thank you very much for your participation, Nelson. Read number seven, please. Nelson, uh, the lady want to complain. Wanted. 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 Okay. okay. The lady wanted to complain. Yes. Okay. She wanted to complain. And the last one, Eliana, do you have the last one? La ultima? No, she's not here. Okay. Mr. Corbera, read the last one, please. La ultima. I did a cent. They refuse to this email. Refound, refound, yes. Refound, refound. Mm -hmm. Yes. I did it sent 
their food refound to this emo. Yes, that's the one that we have here. What's the affirmative? Affirmative. Uh -huh. I didn't send. Es que no sé si me escucha. No. Es que Dino, Dino se usa. Dime un segundo. Aquí está. Permítame. Hello. Permítame, Teche, que estoy atendiendo algo. Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. People, sería entonces, people. I sent, right? Sent. Yeah. The refund. The refund to this email. To this email. Okay. I sent the refund to this email. Okay. Yes. That's how it is. Thank you very much for your participation. Remember, recordemos que no se usa did en afirmativo. Okay. A no ser que estamos agregando énfasis, pero ese es otro caso más avanzado. Ok. De énfasis. Ok. Yes. Do you have any questions? Preguntas. Questions so far. Ok. If you have no questions, no problem. We can continue. It says here, this one. it's a simple past information questions. Create information questions using the verb given. Then ask the questions and, the, and write the answer. People, let's do that. This one is a little longer. Tomar un poco más de tiempo porque son seis. Usaremos el verbo que está en paréntesis como verbo principal. Okay. Les digo por el do. En, en, en la número uno es verbo, significa hacer. Como auxiliar no es nada, ¿ok? Porque pasado es did. ¿Ok? El pasado es did de hacer. ¿Ok? No como auxiliar. So, people, go ahead. I will give you some minutes. Write the question and the answer. People. Information questions, okay? Oh no, we have only only the question. So la pregunta por el momento, okay? Only the question. So la pregunta, okay? Yes. La respuesta no. So la so la pregunta. Thank you. You have three seconds. Okay, teacher, no problem. Three seconds.
Teacher, how do you say cartera de mujer in English? In English. Bag? Bag or purse? Only bag. No, no. I mean, I mean, that purse and bag. Purse mm -hmm. or bag? Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> People, did you finish? Yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Guys, are we ready? Let me 
is up sharing here. Okay, guys, we're going to continue with the second part. The second part of the activity is that you are going to ask the questions to each other, okay? Uh, for example, uh, Claudia is going to ask Tony the questions that she has, or otherwise, Tony is going to ask Claudia about her questions, okay, and about her, her things, yes? But we're going to do this in separate groups, okay, in groups. <clears throat> But I was in groups, okay? Uh, yes, yes, six people, seven, eight people in each group. No, no, too much. I'm going to put the ones that are not that are not available in a different group, okay? The ones that I think are not available. Mm -hmm. All these people are available. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's do this. And the last one. Okay, we are ready. Let's go, people. You can ask. Pueden preguntarle a quien sea, okay, de su grupo. Que sea uno a uno, okay. Yes. And I'm going to check what you're doing. No. O sea, no, no, no usted, sino que no me, no me conectó y me regresó. Ok, permítame entonces. Espérenme, lo voy a mandar a otro grupo, pero no se una a ese todavía, ok. Ok, ok. Eso es para cambiar nomás. No se una, no se una, espérame, 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 okay. espérame. En este sí se va a mover. Ahora sí. Ah, okay. Uh, hi, Luis, Wendy, Carlos. Well, Carlos is not available, I know. What about you, Wendy? I'm sorry. My office in morning. all morning. All morning. Only late over here. The best group ever. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> Necesitamos que deje Same. este grupo siempre bien. Oh, forever. <laughs> todo forever. lo que quieras. El curso. Todo, 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 todo. Ah, ah, sí. okay. Por favor, ¿puede hacer ahí el cambio? Vamos a trabajar bien. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was funny. That was really funny. Ay. Ay. Okay, yes, yes, no problem, I will, that will happen, okay? Okay. okay. Don't worry, don't worry.
the best group. <laughs> and the way the way Claudia said it, the best group ever. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Okay, excellent. Yes, yes. Good group. Yes, of course. <laughs> Este, vamos a responder o cómo es la dinámica. No, no. You can ask uh, Claudia, Cristina, or Concepción, and that person is going to ask you. Okay? Yes. Oh. It's like you're going to ask that person your question, and that person is going to ask you her or his question. Okay. Bueno, la primera tengo, when did you do the homework? Celia? When did you do the homework? You have to. I did. I make my homework yesterday. Repeat, Celia. I I I make sería hacer o puedo usar do. I did. I, I did my homework yesterday. Okay. Yes. Este este hay una cuestión con el con el do. Voy a ver el chat. Sí. Yes. Do homework. Do homework. Observe. Tenemos do homework, make homework. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do es hacer, make también es hacer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, es lo mismo, misma mm -hmm. cosa. En español. En inglés no uh -huh. es así. En inglés no es así. Okay. Make tiene su, 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 ¿cómo podríamos decirle? Su, en inglés es collocations. Sus palabras específicas, digámoslo así. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y do tiene también sus palabras específicas. Quiere decir que make tiene su grupo y do tiene su grupo. Entonces, yo no puedo decir do, do a mistake. Ok. Es como, yo tuve un error. Ajá. Ah, es no, no puedo decir do, do a mistake. Tiene que ser make a mistake porque ya está establecido que es make a mistake. Igual que do homework y make homework. No puedo decir make homework. Tiene que ser, tiene que ser do homework porque ya está establecido que, que homework es para do. Okay. Okay. Igual, do okay. exercise y make exercise. Sería do, make, do exercise en ese caso. Okay. Make, no. Claudia, falta. What did you do last Monday? Sleep. I sleep all day because <laughs> rain. Because it was raining. Oh, el verbo, el pasado. Sleep. Sleep. Slept. 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 Yes. Slept. Yes. Slept. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Best group ever. <laughs> of course. Saben que, que, que la cuestión hubiera quedado mucho más perfecto si hubieran cambiado. Si su nombre Carla sería con C. Carla. Ahorita lo cambio, dígale, Carla. Ahorita. Exactly. Okay, people, continue, please. Okay. Practice people, please, please, please. Pay attention and help each other. Okay. Help each other with the past form. Okay, con el pasado. Emphasize the past form, please, because that is very important. Okay. I will okay. see you in a few. I will see you in a few minutes. Okay. Hi everybody. Nobody is, is over here or what happened? Are you Uh, comprendí que eran de las oraciones que nos puso. No, no está Josué, no está Josué ni, ni Miguel, ¿verdad? Yo sí estoy, lo que pasa es que todos estaban callados. <risa> okay. Y como dijo, como dijo los que no están disponibles, pensé que aquí me había mandado. Oh, no, me no. han dado de sala en sala con distintos compañeros. I'm sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> Dile con Wesley, ninguna vez, no. Ok. 
Stephanie, pregúntale a usted, pregúntale a, a Luis sus preguntas. Luis. Ah, pero aún no las he terminado, profe. Que tenga, don't worry, don't worry. Ok. Ah, ok. Continue, please. Volveré. Entonces... Y entonces la segunda. When you go to home. Sería when did you go? Uh, no. It is where. Where did you go? Este sí, pero ella tiene otra. When did you, did you go home? To go. Okay. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Yo tengo went did go to the beach. When did you did you? When did you? Uh -huh, did you go to the beach? Is go to the beach. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, that is good. Uh, number three. Where do you buy that T-shirt? Where did you buy? Uh -huh. Where did you buy that T-shirt? No es T-shirt. 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 Uh -huh. T-shirt es, es, es a joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a difference. Teacher, T-shirt. Shirt. T-shirt. T-shirt. Yo tengo where did buy Where the supermarket. Recuerde, después del, después del D sigue la persona, cualquier persona, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Ya sea I, you, she, María, Juan, Mauricio, ¿ok? Fernanda, etc. Where did you buy uh -huh. at the supermarket? When or where? Where. No, but where did you buy in the supermarket? Donde. Me puse la respuesta de un solo. <ríe> In the supermarket. Ah. Yes. Guys, <ríe> continue, please. Continue, continue. Y entonces you. ahí solamente sería, where did you buy? Ajá. Y ustedes ponen la respuesta, ¿ok? Si una respuesta, share the answer to each other, ¿ok? I will see you later, people. I, yes, yes. Dicho, en, esta, en esta estaba dudando si es I do o I did. Did, did, did. Yo hice mi trabajo eh, esta. Mi tarea. Esta mañana. Esta mañana. Hoy en la mañana, vea. In the morning. At morning, no. In the morning. I okay. In the in the morning. What the morning? Ning. I morning. Ning. <laughs> More. Morning. Yeah. I did it. Okay. Why? Why did he go to school today? To he school. goes. Or he went. He went. He went. Of course. Y the el da school. Arriba, arriba. Bueno, en ambas, en ambas. En a. ¿Por qué anulo el Adverbio. No, no es el adverbio. El artículo. El artículo. Yes. Porque ¿Por en, ese caso, en, ese escuelo, en ese caso, escuela no, no la lleva a escuela. Escuela, iglesia, trabajo, no llevan a uh, universidad. La no, llevan, no llevan el da. <coughs> Tenemos to church. To school. To, to work. To college. Ok. Eso no llevan, el, no llevan el DA. Si llevan el DA es porque es una escuela súper específica o, una, o un trabajo súper específico. Okay. ok. Entonces dice en la última, en la, en la, en la cuatro que vamos a decir. We, vamos a I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He went to school for an, for an 
N A N. For N. Ah, uh, sí, and interview. With, porque, with no with with. Chip, I heard the with the director. No, or the principal. Principal, principal, please, please. Es el director es el de películas. O oh, director de orquesta. Exactly. So let's continue. Why did your mother buy the pink bag? Okay, my mother bought the pink bag because it is, it is. ¿Por qué? Recordemos, recordemos que, si, que toda oración se inicia con sujeto. Ok, todas, todas, todas. Y después de because necesitamos otra oración. En ese caso, inicia con it. It is her favorite color. She worked in the last moment. No, in, in August vacation, iba a poner yo. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, please. Eso suena mejor. Okay. I continue, please. I will see you later. Okay, thank you. Está bien esa. Oh, teacher, justo tiempo. Estaba debatiendo uh, con esa palabra. Sí, ahí estábamos. Sería this o this is. No, ahí depende de ustedes. No, este, este, este. Esa que le marqué. Yes, yes, depende de ustedes. Where uh, did you buy those shoes or these shoes? Depende cómo uh, estén. Como... Aquellos o esos, ¿verdad? Estos, no. Estos, o como agarrándolos de estos y aquellos. O oh, aquellos. Okay. Ah, ah yes. Yeah. Ambas son correctas. Ah, ok. Ah, okay. Gracias. Entonces, Entonces dice, when did you, when did you do, no, quitemos el do. ¿A dónde? Entonces borremos el make y también borremos report porque no se puede. Ah, cierto, cierto. Tampoco no se puede poner do report. Sorry. No, tiene que ser do. Pero sin report. Uh, sin report. Ah, sin report. Ahí está el do. Ok, tiene que ir do, obligación. Ponga otra cosa que, vaya, que, que sea con do. Exercise. Uh -huh, okay. Why can't do it with Because they are two verbs, right? Exactly. Let's remove the make. Past. Yes. Ok. Gracias, Ticho. Ok. Gracias. Uh, para aclarar, aclarar acá, pongamos, vamos al chat. He colocado, en el chat, he colocado en el chat make exercise and do. ¿Lo pueden ver? Hello. No, Ticho, no. En el chat. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, make exercise. He colocado make exercise y do exercise. En español, make exercise es hacer ejercicio y también do significa hacer ejercicio, pero uh, la diferencia entre make y do es que, bueno, el mismo es en español, ok, hacer. La diferencia es que en inglés make tiene sus su palabras específicas y do tiene sus palabras específicas. No, no específicas, establecidas. Entonces, Está establecido que do con va con exercise y no make. ¿Ok? Al igual que cuando decimos hacer, hacer ruido, decimos make noise. No, 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 no decimos do noise. ¿Ok? Está establecido que make va con noise y no do. ¿Ok? Do noise. Ah, uh, make noise. Ok. Continue, please. Sigamos. I will see you later. Sería play. Oh, sí. 
place. Uh -huh, place. Place. Mm -hmm. Did you finish? Oh, for la cuatro. Eh, bueno, la otra pregunta sería: Where did you read this book? Podría ser. It is correct, yes. And when when did you read the book? What happened to Claudia? Claudia is frozen. Se congeló, ¿no? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Se le fue la señal. Yes. He had a problem. Had a problem with, with the internet. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I really it's, think it's global now. I'm sorry, Celia, repeat, please. Es que lo dijo mal. I read. Ajá, le digo. El pasado no es read, el pasado es con el color rojo, red. Right. Escribe, se escribe lo mismo en presente y pasado. Sí. La diferencia es the pronunciation. Read, presente, pasado es red. Okay. Okay. Concepción. I read the book. Uh, Last week. Okay. La última pregunta. See you later. Como esa, ese silbido de la de. Read. Read. Teacher, read. can you pronounce uh, read in past? No. How do you say rojo in English? Red. Okay. Like that. Yes. All right. Uh, we, we have a problem here. We try to do the, the exercise. Si quiere, Stephanie, diga la primera. Pregunta. Sí. Okay. What class did you receive it at night? Okay, yes, what class did you receive at night? It's, it's good. Continue, continue. Sorry. I received English class with received. Mauricio. Received. 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 I received I received the English class with Mauricio Cigaran. Okay. Okay, it's the third, I know, second. Stephanie? Uh, okay, pensé que usted me iba a preguntar. Okay, ah, uh, uh, well, este era. Where did you go? No, where did you go on Saturday morning? I went to the gym morning. I went to the gym on Saturday morning. Yes. Okay. Eh, but, entonces, Stephanie, sí. what did, did, did you buy in Walmart? Um, did you buy um, I bought, TV? I, I bought. I, I bought. Okay. I bought um, smart TV, TV a smart TV. A no, smart, smart TV. TV. <laughs> smart TV. I bought a smart TV, okay? Mm -hmm. Bought a smart TV. You will continue. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. I will see you later. Continue, okay. with, continue with the practice. Okay. Stephanie, where did you work the last year? Return. Hi. We have a... Uh, uh, 
question. Okay, can I have the answer? Este, if I say, what series do you see in the weekend? Repeat, please. What series do you see in the weekend? What series? Series. Series. series, 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 series. Did you see? Did you see? Uh-huh. bien. Only a watch mejor. Pero se puede usar o no? Like, like what series did you watch or what series did you see on the weekend? ¿Cuál era la otra? Era el, 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 el which, creo. Ah, el which. De, yeah. Let's go to the last one, number six. It says, what did you see? Sorry, what did you see yesterday? I saw the dog play. Sí, sí. Yes, sí. Sí, sí. The one with the boat. With the boat. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see. Don't play with both. Este, la otra pregunta era la del libro, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. uh -huh. ah ya, ya ah. Está en la en las seis. En las cinco. cinco. Hace la cinco. Creo que sería lo más atinado. Teacher, teacher, ya terminamos. Yes. Para que lo chequee, no te diga si tiene, si tiene o no tiene errores. La última, the last one. They watched. The, antes de la C, va la T. Ah, che. No, antes, de la C, antes de la C. Ahí dice guac. Guac. Ya vi que solo los solo lo, errores. Qué bárbaro. Solo a tijería de vino. Ajá. Está okay. bien. Yes, yes, yes. En los cóbanos, Reef, y ahí me decía Nelson, ¿y qué es Reef? Ah, es el, el, el los arrecifes. Mm -hmm. Los cóbanos. Los cóbanos. Oh, cóbanos. Ok. ¿Where is that place at? Es um, near to the, um, uh, the Cameron Hotel. Really? The Cameron Hotel. And then is the to the to the to the to the east as the first is uh, Salinitas Beach and, and hotels and then Las Burreneras and then Los Cobanos. Okay, all right, Los Cobanos. I'm going to look for if it. you know if, if you know the the, the Salinitas Beach and, and and hotel, the Cameron. Yes, yes, I know. I know where okay. the thing is. All right. Okay. Let me go to different group people. I will see you later. Okay. Okay. In a few minutes. Hi. Yes. What happened? In the six, I had put one, pardon, in the five. What did you read? Book mm -hmm. with your father. But we were in the six. What or was which repeat please what did you read book with your father tenemos la consulta era si era póngale book después de what después de what what, what? what book uh -huh. el did you 
did you? With your father. Read. Sería, sería, what book did you read with your father? Ah. Y ahí, ¿por qué cambiaría la, la estructura? ¿Qué libro? ¿Cuál libro? Y ahí se puede usar también which en lugar de watch. También se puede usar which en vez de watch, ya está exacto. Ahí estábamos en la, en la consulta puede... si era which o what. Ok, observe acá la, la pregunta que usted, la que, la que usted dijo fue así de esta forma. La segunda dice, what did you read book with your father? Ahí dice que leíste el libro con tu papá. ¿En ah. qué leíste el libro con tu papá? O sea, hay que poner el libro después de what. ¿Qué libro o cuál libro leíste con tu papá? Yes. All right. Yes. Vamos a, we're going to go back to the main session right now. Let's go back to the main session. Este era así. Ajá, cabal. I see. What book do you read with your father? Or what book do you read with your father? Ajá, de las dos formas, sí. Yeah, both are correct. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> Adiós. Goodbye. Hello, ladies and, and people and men. Be careful. <laughs> I said ladies, I said ladies. Where is the, the inclusive language in, in English? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, chicas. Vamos a. No, no, no. It's. it's... Como es en inglés el chiques. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I don't know. Chiques. Language. Okay, people. Thank you very much for your participation and practice. I was correcting some mistakes. There is very little details, okay? In the pronunciation, in the past forms, etc. Uh, later, in a few minutes, I'm going to share with you how to pronounce or when to pronounce the D and when to pronounce the T at the end of the, of the, the verb, okay? Yes. Right now, I'm going to take attendance and we have to go sleep, all right? I'll leave you Ernesto. What happened to you today? Atilio estaba con un compromiso familiar. Oh, no. Divorce? Como? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Let's continue. Celia Cristina Soto, Segovia. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Good evening, Brett. Concepción Marina Alvarado. Present teacher. Elizabeth Chicas Delgado. Present teacher. Irma Stephanie Carranza. Present. Hello. Uh, Juan Nestalí Garcia. Josué, I'm sorry. Hey, present teacher. <laughs> Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher, good evening. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Luis Miguel Corbera. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Marcela Maria Sanchez. Present. Leo Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Present teacher. Yes. Jansi Sandoval, Bonilla. <coughs> Marina, Jansi. Present. Present. Vina Lizet, yes. Hernandez Lainez. Present. Nelly Lilipez, Andrade Garcia. Present. Nelson Orlando Tejada Castaneda. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Norma Patricia Vázquez. Was too all right. Was not here. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. I didn't see her either. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. 
present teacher. Carlos Present. Alberto. Sorry, Senia for Iselda. Guillén. Present. Yes. Carlos Alberto Santana. And the last one is Jancy Olivares Raimundo. Wendy, hello. Present. Present. Yes, yes, Jancy. Present. Wendy to Siqueda. Okay, Wendy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Está bien. The mask, nos vamos. People, see you tomorrow. Se cuidan. Okay, que descansen todos. Chao, so, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night teachers. Good, good, good night, teachers, people. See you never tomorrow. <laughs> never be very serious. <laughs> bye bye, take care. Hi, Wendy. Hi, teacher. Hoy tenemos un espacio para preguntas que usted tenga de los temas que hemos visto de las clases. Yes. Wendy. Dígame, teacher. Preguntas acerca de los temas que hemos visto de las clases. Una confusión, complicación. Mire, lo voy a hacer bien en ese chat. A mí lo que me cuesta son en las conjugaciones, cuando se hacen las oraciones y los verbos. Eso sí me cuesta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Comprensible, comprensible. Lo que tiene que hacer es practicar la forma de los verbos. Cada verbo uh -huh. tiene cinco formas. ¿Ok? Debería elegir un verbo diario. Me refiero a que elige el verbo, cualquier verbo, en sus cinco formas. ¿okay? Y las practica durante todo el día. Y el siguiente día, otro verbo. ¿Ok? Ese sería uno por cada día. ¿Ok? Pero tiene que ser de sus cinco formas. Por ejemplo, comer, bueno, llamar, pongamos. Llamar se dice call, así como está en el chat. Call. ¿Ok? En pasado, permítanme, no, no, volver acá mejor. Ya se lo voy a mostrar mejor. Ok, observe. Call es el verbo. Ok. Conjuguemos el verbo call. En presente, digamos, en el present, bueno, se conoce como base, forma, forma base, ok. Forma base que es base form, así se conoce como base form. Ok, base form, past form, que es el pasado. Ok, tenemos el. el Past participle. Past participle tenemos también the S form, la forma de la S o de tercera persona y the ING form. Ok. Son cinco formas de cada verbo. Todo verbo tiene cinco formas, a excepción de como tres o cuatro que tienen otras formas que ya, ya pero es lo mismo siempre. Ok, pongamos acá como verbo, el verbo llamar. Ok. El verbo en su forma base es call. C-L-L. -L. Ok. Sí, eso puede ser usted, hacerlo usted para que, para practicarlos. Ahora, en pasado, llamar se dice llamé. En este caso, called. Solo ponemos la ED para hacerlo pasado. Ok. El participio que está acá abajo, el tercero, ese es llamado. Okay. Se usa en la estructura que es, que es la como esta. Yo he llamado a mi tía. Okay. Ahí se usa ese llamado. Es también es lo mismo de arriba. Observe. Mismo de arriba. Ok. No hay diferencia. La, la, la de es form. Es en tercera persona en presente cuando ponemos el verbo con S. Ok. Y el último es calling, que es la ING. Ok. Eso es todo. Así como van todos los verbos. Todo verbo tiene estas, estas formas. El presente o base form, el pasado, el participio, la forma que lleva con S y la forma con la ING. ¿Ok? Y lo que puede hacer es que cada día elige un verbo diferente, por supuesto. ¿Ok? Y practica las cinco formas. ¿Ok? Y le puede poner el español a cada par para que sea un poco más entendible. ¿Ok? O más fácil para usted entenderlo. Y o sea, podemos llamar acá. 
Okay, observe, llamar, call, llamar. Okay. El pasado sería llamé, okay, dependiendo de la persona que use. Llamé. What happened? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm learning now. I'm going to put this thing. Ah, I answered the tilde. Okay. Llamé. Okay. El tercero sería llamado. Este es llama. Okay. Ella llama o él llama. El último es llamando. Ok. Eso es lo que puede hacer, mire, Wendy. Uh, cada día elige un verbo, así como está acá, este, este formato que está acá, de poner el español. Y si quiere, puede poner un ejemplo por cada uno. Que si tiene tiempo durante el día, ok, puede hacer eso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Este, compre unas una cinco hojas de papel bon o de cuaderno y recórtelas en cuadritos. Y en cada cuadrito pone un verbo. Y van a la banda uh -huh. portable en su bolsa de, 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 de la camisa o del de jean. Lo saca cada rato, lo, lo, lo mira y así lo practica y lo. Así está todo el día. Vaya, uh -huh. teacher. Pero si quiere, otra cosa también muy importante: si quiere, haga esta estrategia con los verbos irregulares. Verbos uh -huh. irregulares. Okay. Con los irregulares, porque estos que están acá son lo mismo, okay? solo con la ED. Eso es muy sencillo. Así que hágalo con los verbos irregulares. Así. Ok. ¿Más preguntas, Wendy? Solo eso. Ok. Ok, entonces vamos a dormir. Está bien. Gracias, teacher. Descansa, Wendy. Nos vemos mañana. Sí, descansa, ok. Se cuida. Buenas noches.